time of year, the glaciers I... are pretty calm. Mm -hmm. You should be able to ride right out of there. I'll bet the boys at the DIA and the NSA never expect you to come home alive. Me neither. I better not show my face around here. No danger of that. You two officially died after your jeep sank into the ocean. That's not too far from the truth. Also, there's a helicopter waiting for you on Fox Island. Okay, Roy. Are you gonna be okay? Don't worry. I've got an insurance policy. A hard copy of all Mei Ling's data. As long as I've got that, you, me, and Mei Ling will be fine. The battery on these nanomachines will run out soon. They won't be able to follow us. I guess we won't meet again. Don't worry. I'll pay you a visit sometime. Really? I look forward to that. Roy, just tell me one thing. What? About Fox Die. What about me? It killed Liquid. Naomi said that she wants to talk to you face to face about that. How is she? Don't worry. Mei Ling is with her right now. I'm switching over to Naomi. Snake, it's me. Naomi. I heard about my brother. I'm sorry. But he had one last message he wanted to say to you. He told me to tell you to forget about him and to go on with your own life. Frankie said that? Yeah. He also said he'll always love you. Naomi, your brother just saved you, me, and the whole world. He fought with every ounce of strength in his body. Maybe. Maybe now he's finally found some peace. He wasn't really my brother anymore. Ever since he fought with you in Zanzibar, he's been like a ghost. A ghost looking for a place to die. <laughs> <laughs> Naomi, Liquid died from Fox Die too. What about me? When am I gonna go? That's up to you. What do you mean? Everybody dies when their time is up. Yeah, so when's mine up? It's up to you how you use the time left to you. Live, Snake. That's all I can say to you. Okay. Each person is born with their fate written into their own genetic code. It's unchangeable, immutable. But that's not all there is to life. I finally realized that. I told you before, the reason that I was interested in genes and DNA, because I wanted to know who I was, where I came from. I thought that if I analyzed my DNA, I could find out who I was, who my parents were, and I thought that if I knew that, then I'd know what path I should take in life. But I was wrong. I didn't find anything. I didn't learn anything. Just like with the genome soldiers, you can input all the genetic information, but that doesn't make them into the strongest soldiers. The most we can say about DNA is that it governs a person's potential strengths, potential destiny. You mustn't allow yourself to be chained to fate, to be ruled by your genes. Humans can choose the type of life they want to live. Snake, whether or not you're in the Fox Die program isn't important. The important thing is that you choose life. And then live. Don't you think, Snake? Don't worry. I'm going to choose life, too. Until today, I've always looked for a reason to live. But from here on, I'm going to just live. Genes exist to pass down our hopes and dreams for the future through our children. Living is a link to the future. That's how all life works. 
loving each other, teaching each other. That's how we can change the world. I finally realized it. The true meaning of life. Thank you, Snake. Until today, I've lived only for myself. Survival has been the only thing I cared about in my life. That's not just you. That's how everyone is. I only felt truly alive when I was staring death in the face. I don't know. Maybe it's written into my genes. What about now? I want to enjoy life. I really do. How about you, Otacon? Me? I feel like a new man. So what are you going to do? Continue your research? No, I'm finished with science. I'm interested in human psychology now. Sounds good. The whole reason I got into science in the first place was because I was no good with people. I was scared of them. I was scared of life. I thought that I could never understand them, because they're so illogical. But I finally learned how to like people. I'm not afraid anymore. Uh, you and I are more alike than I thought. I'm just tired of always being a spectator in life. I'm ready to live. I'm going to stand on my own two feet. I'm not going to hide anymore. You're giving up your stealth camo? Huh? Oh, yeah. You can have it. <laughs> yeah. So, this is where we say goodbye to our loves as well. Want me to drive? No, thanks. I'd rather do it myself. No problem. Where to, Snake? My real name is David, Otacon. I'm Hal, Dave. Oh, that's right. Hal. Hal and Dave. That's a good one. <laughs> <laughs> Maybe we should take a trip to Jupiter. So where are you going, Dave? Hmm. I think it's time for me to look for a new path in life. A new path? A new purpose. Will you find it? I'll find it. I know I'll find it. <sighs> yes, is the end of Metal Gear Solid. But uh, the next uh, let's play, I think you know, you know. Uh, I like uh, most of these let's play and uh, and see ya, people. Be your credits. Not those. I'm sorry. See ya.